Welcome to another Business Tech Planet video. Today, we'll show you how to integrate Microsoft Loop in Outlook. First, we'll show you how to paste a loop component into a new mail. Then, we'll look at the inbuilt loop components. And finally, we'll build and send a Q&A component. To start, open your loop component. Then click the copy icon in the top right. Next, hit the copy button to ensure the link has been copied. Now head over to Outlook, and click the new mail button at the top. Then paste your loop component into the message section of the new mail. Next, add a recipient in the two box. And add a subject that describes your loop component. Then hit the send button. When the recipient clicks the sent mail, they'll have access to the loop component. They can then interact with the component from within Outlook, and any changes they make will be reflected in real time, across all instances of the component. You can also use the inbuilt loop components by creating a new mail. We're going to expand the new mail window. Next, click the loop icon at the top to reveal a list of components. We'll select a task list. Now enter your task name. Assign the task to a team member. Then select a due date. Anyone you mention in the loop component will appear in the two box, but the component won't appear in your loop workspaces. To fix that, check the component name, then head to the Microsoft Loop app. There, click the search icon. Then search for your component and select it. Next, head up and click the shared locations icon. Click add to workspace at the bottom. And finally, select a workspace. Currently, the Q&A component is only available in Outlook. To use it, hit the loop icon and select Q&A. Add a title. And mention the recipient to add their name to the two box. Now let's ask some questions. Click ask a new question at the bottom. When you're finished, add a subject. Then hit send. The recipient can now answer the questions. And if you head to your sent items folder, you can see that the answers have updated. That's all for this video. We hope it was helpful. Check the description for additional links and resources, and leave a comment below if you have any concerns or questions. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe for more Microsoft videos.